of our economy. Wakati hayo kijiri huduma za afya za dharura za jamii zimeimarishwa nchini kufuatia uzinduzi wa mpango wa kukabiliana na milipuko ya magonjwa na pia uzuiaji na shirika la afya duniani WHO akizungumza katika uzinduzi rasmi wa mpango huo ambao pia ulijumuisha utoaji wa magari manane yatakayotumika kusaidia katika visa vya dharura katika kaunti tofauti zilizoteuliwa na Wizara ya Afya mwakilishi wa shirika hilo nchini daktari Abdul uh, Diallo alidokeza kwamba Kenya ni mojawapo ya mataifa 17 barani Afrika ambayo yameteuliwa kufanya jaribio la mpango huo. Aidha Wizara ya Afya inasema kwamba uzinduzi huo utasaidia kuimarisha mipango yake ya kukabiliana na milipuko ya magonjwa yanayohatarisha afya ya jamii kama vile mlipuko wa ugonjwa wa kipindupindu unaoshuhudiwa sasa. Prepare for detect and respond to health emergencies. It requires that 80% of member states have sustainable health security financing as well as 90% of them being able to mobilize an effective response to public health emergencies within 24 hours of detection. Most of the time, all the ambulances, which I think they are about four, they were broken most of the time. Meaning, in fact, we had to hire maybe from the private uh, facilities for referrals people to be brought to Nairobi for, for treatment and all that. That's why I'm saying I think it's a very great day to the people of Embu. This program is aimed at strengthening our capacity and other countries to prepare for and respond to emergencies and particularly public health emergencies. This program, Kenya will be able to detect, assess, and respond to outbreaks and emergencies in a timely and effective manner. Katibu mkuu wa muungano wa wafanyakazi nchini Francis Atwoli amekubaliana na mapendekezo ya serikali kuongeza ushuru kwa wafanyakazi kwa asilimia tatu. ila amewarai wa Kenya kuhakikisha wana 